Alright guys, we're here at the Desert Tech booth, checking out the MDR and the MDRC. I have Seth here from Desert Tech. Why don't you go ahead and give us a little bit about these uh, beauties that we have here. They are beauties. These are brand new rifles that Desert Tech is ready to release in sometime in 2015. Um, I'm holding right here the compact version, and this is in 5.56. What you've got there is the standard MDR in 308. And these are a multi-caliber platform, so it's actually the same exact gun we've got here, but we've just got a couple of different features on them to make a, a, a different caliber. Um, they're going to be avail able to switch between five different calibers. And the initial offerings will be the 5.56 and the 308. We'll follow up shortly after with 300 blackout, 6.8 SPC, and a 7.62 by 39. Um, all of the calibers will utilize standard magazines. We've got standard um, AR-15 mags and SR-25 mags. So anything that you use in your M4s will work in these. Um, the caliber conversions are going to be very, very quick and very, very simple, and they'll always return to zero. If we take a look at the front of that rifle there, you see we've got a, a unique patented front sight system. This attaches to the barrel, and it's adjustable for both windage and elevation. Having that attached to your barrel means that when you take that out and you put it back in, you're going to be right back on target with no adjustments necessary, right? Yes. So you can zero all of your barrels independently of your chest. Very, very. Your iron sights are always on. You can also co-wetness with a dot sight and get it into a pretty good range just using your iron sights as well. The rifles are 100% ambidextrous with no modifications necessary. You can see that we've got a forward ejection tube right here, meaning making it so that a left-handed shooter can fire with the, jet, the brass ejecting forward and not, and not back in the face. You can also flip down your uh, forward ejection port. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> it allows you to check your chamber. Very cool. Clear malfunctions, and it also allows for a traditional side eject. If you ever had any kind of an issue with your forward ejection, then you can always just drop that down and eject straight to the side. If it gets kicked in mud or something like that, it's very, right. very easy, exactly. user friendly too. Exactly. It also acts as a dust cover as well uh, for your for your chamber, um, so it's uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, nicer than a standard AR where the dust cover is flipped down all the time. You've got to cover it. Um, it's a non-reciprocating charging handle. You charge it once, and it stays forward. You're not going to get the uh, broken slap. thumb yeah. or, or whatever <laughs> else happens with that. Um, your controls are ambidextrous, both sides of the rifle. And your magazine release is very, very unique to a bullpup. Is a standard M4 position magazine release. Really? So. It's completely removed from the. Right. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. I'm not it's gonna not lie. Bad. Yeah. I'm impressed with that, right there. So, so again, we give you basically we give you the ultimate in portability, modularity. These are the same rifles. All we've done is switch the forearms and put a shorter barrel in here. This is a ten and a half inch barrel, a sixteen inch barrel right there. And those will be the initial offerings, and then uh, who knows from there. And it does appear that these are going to be these. Uh, they are going to come in fun, semi, uh, semi and fun for uh, all you guys who like the class three stuff. So uh, I'm impressed, man. You want to talk about the uh, what kind of bolt system you have in here? Is that uh, proprietary? You don't want to. I, I can't. I can't talk a whole lot on that right now. It's still in development. I can tell you that to switch calibers. Um, so you just change the bolt head. Uh, so if I wanted to change this gun from a it's 7.62 NATO right now, correct? If I wanted to change it to this, is there a block that drops in that accepts that mag accepts the M4 magazines? Exactly. This okay. should be a magazine insert or a magwell insert that comes with that caliber conversion that you that you slap in there that allows you to fit a smaller magazine. Excellent. And it does appear that uh, the chassis holds together with uh, basically for Allen keys? Right, it's a, it's a system that's very, very similar to our sniper precision rifles. Um, with the, uh, the it's, uh, three bolts right here, or lock, uh, sorry, torque bolts, I guess we could call them. Um, the torque down around the barrel, holding it tight. It's a 100% free floater barrel. Um, so 
similar to our sniper rifles. You loosen those bolts and unlock the barrel and it will slide out the front and you can put the other one in. Very, very cool, sir. Well, hey, thank you very much for the look at the Desert Tech MDR and MDRC.